So in this video, I wanted to show you how I did my AC to DC conversion for my uh, LEDs. I know there's a lot of videos out there and uh, they're all good and I've watched them all. And this one's gonna have more pictures than video because sometimes pictures can show things better. And I'm gonna try to point out some of the things that I didn't notice or didn't see or didn't have any information on when I did mine so hopefully it will help you when you do yours. So the first thing you're going to need is the uh, Navi LED headlight tail light conversion kit. It's around 60 bucks. You can get it at Scooter Swap Shop. That's where I got mine. You can also get it off of Man in the Box. I'm sure there's some other folks that carry it as well. If you look at the top of the box, you'll see a uh, code that you can scan with your phone that will give you the instructions to install it. And I actually used these instructions and uh, they worked out well. I did watch some other YouTuber videos beforehand. I did not have to reference them again while I did the work. I'm not going to go into full detail on how to connect it all up. There are plenty of videos for that and the instruction sheet that comes with it is also plenty for doing that. The other piece you're going to need is some kind of a new relay. I bought the one from Scooter Swap Shop. It was $13 and I kind of felt like it was designed to go specifically with this. If you do watch some YouTube videos you'll see other people have purchased some off of Amazon they're about the same price, a little bit different shaped, but they all work the same. Other than this particular one makes a clicking sound, which is really, really cool because who doesn't like turn signals that make clicking sounds? However, once I got my seat put back on, it started to get quieter to hear. And then when I put my full face helmet on, I couldn't hear it at all. So there's that. You just simply pull the old one off and plug the new one in and the relay is ready to go. And then you can just tuck it down inside the seat compartment. And that is all you need to do if you just want to get an LED headlight and tail light and to have your lights turn on when you turn the ignition key on. Next step, you just simply reach back to the tail light from under the seat compartment and you just turn it I believe it's a quarter of a turn counterclockwise and that socket pops out with the old traditional bulb in it you put the new bulb in it put it back in pretty easy to do the next step is going to be the headlight you'll need to remove the four screws that hold the headlight frame on and the headlight just kind of falls out a little bit you just need to pull the uh, three prong plug off of the headlight and then remove the rubber boot. When you have the headlight rubber boot off, you'll see a wire holder that holds the light bulb in and a screw. Remove the screw, use caution as there's some tension on that screw from that, that spring clip. The bulb fits in easily and there's only one way you can put it in. Once you put it back in, go ahead and put the little spring, there's a little notch on the one side, put that in there, press down on it and put the screen or the screw back in. Since you have your headlight off, you might as well go ahead and put an LED dashboard light in. They were I think $7 for a two pack. And You've already got your headlight out, so all you need to do is reach up and grab the two wires that uh, go to the socket that hold that bulb in and then just gently pull it out. And then once you have that out, you can put the new bulb in and just slide it back up into the hole. Again, there are other videos showing how to pull these pieces apart in detail. Put your headlight back on you now could have 
an LED headlight, an LED tail light, and the optional dashboard LED light. And that is all you have to do with this conversion. You do not have to go any further. But if you want to add LED turn signals, then you're going to take the next steps. If you are going to do LED turn signals, then do not put your headlight back in. Instead, find the green and blue wire for the one side and the orange and green for the other. And they just have simple bullet type connectors. You can gently pull on those and they will come out and then you can remove the LED turn signals. This is the part that I didn't know and I ended up having to run to the hardware store, or I'm sorry, the auto, auto supply store to get them. And that was when you do the LED lights, they just come as naked wires and you're going to need some of these little bullet style connectors to uh, push back into the socket or the female ends. You're going to need eight of them to complete the entire project. You're going to get the box that's red. I don't know what size that is, but they come in like red, yellow, and blue. You want the red ones. And you're also going to need to have a electrical tool so that you can splice or strip the, the wires. And you also need to be able to uh, crimp down on the bullet connectors to make contact to the wire. Then you'll need to purchase some sort of an LED turn signal arrangement. I bought these little uh, marble or fisheye style ones and um, I bought them again from Scooter Swap Shop. You can get them in a plastic teardrop or a aluminum version. I bought the aluminum they also have traditional style ones out there as well. So once you have the bullet connectors and your electrical tool, you can now strip back a little bit of the wire and crimp on a bullet head for the front and you can hook your turn signals up and now you can assemble the headlight piece again. Doing the back LED lights I bought a new tail tidy from Scooter Swap Shop because that other one I felt was just a big giant ugly mess in the back but you don't have to you could simply reuse that one and put your choice of LED turn signals in it. In my case I just had to undo two bolts undo the bullet connectors under the seat for my existing turn signals it all pulls out and then I just put the new one back in and then I put bullet connectors on the ends and then the next step this was the other piece that I didn't get a warm and fuzzy feeling from from anybody is you do have to use some of these universal turn signal load resistors to fix your flashing. So when you just do one side it works perfectly fine but when you get it all hooked back up together and you turn your turn signals on all of your LED turn signal lights flash. So these resistors help with that and I ended up buying a four pack and I only really needed two and I put them in the back basically one for each side and that solved my problem. So yes, you do have to have some kind of a diode or resistor to uh, fix the flashing. And that really completes the LED conversion. I think it took me maybe an hour, but I also do did my uh, windscreen and did some other tinkering while I was working on it. Super easy. You don't need a lot of skills. The instruction sheet that comes with the kit is informative enough. There are plenty of videos to give you the general idea. Like I mentioned earlier, I did not watch any videos while I was working on it. 
I watched them all in advance and was able to just go out and do it. I like it. I like how bright everything is. I like how cleaner looking it is. And overall, it really was not very expensive. I think it's money well spent. You could take it in stages. You could just do the headlight tail light first. You could do the headlight tail light and dashboard light. Or you could just do it all. I just like to do it all because I had everything open and I had all my tools out and I just wanted to get it done. Hopefully you can hear the little clicker sound from the uh, new blinker relay. However, with a helmet on, you can't hear it at all, unfortunately. But it is a cool concept. You can also... Can you hear that humming sound? That's the fan on the LED headlight. 